the your guest of honor, His Royal Highness Crown Prince, the Puto Ungalale. May I ask everybody, please be on your feet as we welcome our guest of honor with a round of applause. to please remain standing for the Tongan National Anthem followed by the Australian National Anthem. It is the Tongan traditional norm that every formal occasion commences and is marked with a word of prayer, uplifting the program pending to the top of the mountain for our God Jehovah to bless. In line with that occasion and that tradition, I humbly ask Timote Reverend Timote Tautua A to pray for the program that is about to commence. Thank you. Eshiho. Koshiho Mahoko. Kotui koe la hitui. Eko eki koe la hitui. Koe ta liu. Koe arifa mwero mweka. Koe kamat ala. ごいごいてきてるねめこたおごけたなきもとるへぽんぽんさかころこえんおめごたなきおせにあがひもないばいかもころたおへんにかさてにおめらたおれやけとおたなたもてきてもおいららにあほてもらととにとかととねねあこねてもかわいいねてとわさかととかうまわがとけあっちょんなえとわおごまうえにこえかおとんがうれしいとことおかん
is to Jehovah Jireh, the Alpha Omega, God invisible but yet present in every part of the corner of this universe. And while the world tilts with changes, his grace remains still throughout the season of changes. I acknowledge the guest of honor, His Royal Highness Crown Prince Devoto Aukalala. I acknowledge Her Royal Highness Princess Angelica La Ah, the High Commissioner of the Kingdom of Tonga to Australia, and to add to her CV list today, the accomplished published author that we are all amassed here to celebrate, Her Royal Highness Princess Angelica Ladufui Becker. In acknowledgments as well, Honorable Consulate General Miss Louise Waterhouse, Reverend Timote Dautua A and church leaders, the councillors, Mafufefeka and the oratorial attenders of our kingdom. Friends and families that were all gathered here today. To celebrate the accomplishment, the royal accomplishment of Her Royal Highness Princess Angelica Ladufu Begatuwa. It is with the greatest spirit of joy and humility that I humbly welcome you, the guest of honor, Crown Prince Tupoto Aukalala, on behalf of Her Royal Highness Princess Angelica Ladufu Begatuwa and twinnies. And the rest of all our distinguished guests and all our families and friends that are here, who are here to celebrate with us the, ac the accomplishment of the day. If I may, let me share a tale of a commoner. There's a Tongan saying, 
Famola moleta masi pri niskara unika mata ne tu ke fata ki tala nofka tu ako en Let me share I tell of a common When I awoke this morning normally I wake up there's a phrase that already enters my thought and in this particular dawn as it broke A, 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 a phrase from a common song came to me. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And immediately I smiled, first of all, because I'm not naturally a person that smiles. But then I realized why God had given me those words specifically because truly this is the day that the Lord has made. And then I started to reminisce when this book was conceived in the process of writing. Many months ago, Nakulele Atu, I use those terms specifically because I myself as a commoner took my family and the twins to the princess, the Australian High Commissioner, the Tongan to present to her somewhat of the books that we had written. And as I sat on the floor, the few words that we exchanged, we thought of writing a book and I returned home aspiring and thinking it might not come true, although my heart yawned for it. But then I thought, who am I? Less than a month. We started the process of writing. And all these moments started to crawl back into my soul, just this very moment. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. A month after that, Her Royal Highness Princess Angelica Latufutbeka Tukwaho and Twinnies had agreed on a timeline for the book. And as a common Tongan, you would approach with delicacy, suggesting a timeline as a publisher. But in the spirit of humility, the prince has always had. She stayed true to it. I remember the day unwarningly that I finally got the book. I was alone in my house. And when I got the full draft, the tears started rolling down my eyes because I realized I love Maria Vita Ulaluetaini. Pero mo el kukor o haia. In the process of making this book, as a publisher and also Twinnies as the translator of the book, when I got to the end, in both versions, 
two things had happened. Go on, what go off a yokutonga? Off a yoku for noa. Better yoku for me. And my more far away than me. At the end of the process of translating the book and towards the end of publishing the book, the roots that had been conceived in the kingdom of Tonga almost relinquished had somewhat been revived. The Ta'awala that had been tied closely to my waist once before and I had started to loosen up had somewhat been tied once again to my waist. And the task or puke puke for nua I had somewhat learned to master once again. That is the spirit that Her Royal Highness Princess Angelica Latu Fuipeka Tukupa had royally penned throughout her book as a gift to every Tongan that is now and every Tongan that is forthcoming in the future. And we are here to celebrate that, that accomplishment is somewhat not at all a small gift to the people of Tom. May I humbly thank you Princess Angelica Latu Vipekatkuha on behalf of your Tongan people that are here today and that are not. Vafitai Maukoroa. Thank you for the gift. I have faith. Your words would outlive generations. And I look forward to the next publication. May I ask for a round of applause <laughs> for the Royal Highness for the book she has written and the work that has been accomplished. Without further ado, the production that has been written by Twinnies Publishing is a for forward to the book. And without further ado, may I present the Nafa production.
It is apparent from the oral history that the Tongan people are hardworking, have faith in God, and patriotic. His Majesty is the sovereign king of the Kingdom of Tonga. Respectfully, he is connected by blood to his people. This is not a novel status quo, precision to recent, but is a direct connection from His Majesty to His people, a linkage of blood and land we heed still to from the earliest of days.
The essence of the Tongan woman to impart wise counsel, resting, rearing, on benevolent, beneficent arms of a mother. Faka'olunga hekariloa. Effectuating closeness, adorning obedience. Daily duties of a Tongan woman and man manifest their faith in God, respect, loyalty, keeping of relations, humility, and love. These ideologies are reflected in mannerism, spoken words, habits, and attire. The ultimate of such goodness is noticeable when it bears fruit 
and emulated through the children and family. It is obligatory that we are judicious in preserving our tongue traditional customs. They are the foundation of our way of life and our national treasure. birthday celebrations, once a birthday is confirmed to be celebrated, prospective families are notified which of the duties they are adept to effect and those they need furtherance with. The mothers furnish the celebrated attire, tongue and traditional waist mats, the avala, fragrant necklaces, while whispers etiquette teachings. The fa'e hoki. The Vala Fea Ngasi, the Tongan and Tapa Ngatu Fuatanga, and a fine mat Kietonga, tied around the waist, often worn by the mother's brother, the older inferior uncle, the Fae Tangata while the youngest inferior uncle, Duasina, prepares the food at the um. It is at the discretion of the father's family what they contribute to the birthday. Weddings. It is at the discretion of the wedding couple if to wear English or the Tongan wedding attire. If it is the latter, their mother will ready their attire and their taubalas. Funerals. The tongue and the avala warning funerals are telling of the different roles and the ranking of a tongue and woman and man to the deceased. The fahu. It has been stowed ahead our oral history that the father's family line is higher by rank and the mother's family line is lower in rank to one. Each individual has a paternal aunt, Mehikitanga, and a genealogical superior, Afahu. The Fahu is the sister of one's father or the sister of the father of the deceased, frequently used in the context of funeral. The Leomi, 
are those who are lower in rank to the diseased. Thus called the Leongi, who wears and takes part in the mourning of the big wearing of the Daubalas, hence they are called the Gaudiongi. And the Matapule. Amata pule ke puke puke fonua. Who ties the land, the culture to his waist, and reminds us that we are all connected. to our culture, and that makes us unique in the entire South Pacific Seas. of the Tongan man. From the earliest of time, the duties of the Tongan man is vested on the land. It is the father's duty to roll up the Tongan mat for the kingship to converse and impart in instructions. He leads the family to fulfill duties to benefit the residing of kingship. He spurs the family to live harmoniously in solidarity for each to further the other, for that is telling and befitting.
of Her Royal Highness Princess Angelica Ladufi Pekatukwa. May I call the production team on stage to take their bow. The costumes that you see all here, Your Royal Highnesses, were the handcrafting of two sisters from Brisbane. To Paniela Meleane, to go and set you to Afghani, to take a bow. Please come and take a bow. May I please? We're very grateful for the hard work in crafting these. They, the, all the costumes that you see there were made, they traveled from Brisbane here, had the, had the, the team measured, and then went back and worked. We have our singers, Galapofo Angamu Galapu Mafofa. Unake Devita Viola Fano. Unake. We have our performers individually. We came together as a family. And from the beginning, we wrote the production. Everything that you see here, the lyrics, the music, was all written for Her Royal Highness Princess Angelica. Let us take a bow. One, two, three. That concludes the first part of our program. My, I ask my team to please exit now. Okay. May I ask your Royal Highnesses, please, if you may, proceed to the green tea room area. And while uh, they do, I will ask the rest of the auditorium to await their 
relocating and move to the reception area for the second part of the program. And you may exit on the right hand side and, uh, and shortly after that we will commence our second program. Thank you very much. If you would make your way down to the reception area, they will start serving you with light refreshments, and we will wait <coughs> to welcome our, our Royal Highnesses back in shortly. Follow up with them.